welcome back to my channel, Weirdly OCD. In today's video, we are going to go through my linen closet and see just how organized I've kept it in the last eight months since I reorganized it. Now, I did do a video of the reorganization that I did of it eight months ago. It is on my YouTube channel, and I will link it in the description below, along with putting it in the end screen of this video. But I wanted to show you how I've kept it up for the last eight months, what's working, what's not working, and things that I would probably and I'm going to change. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the closet as it is right now in its current condition. Let me turn on the light here. So this is how I had it organized when I did that video about eight months ago. Everything that was in the closet was just on the shelves by themselves. There was no cubes or any really type of organization. In fact, when we very first moved in our house, we kind of just threw everything in here. And I used that video to reorganize this and get it together. However, there are a few things that I'm not really liking about this system. There are some things that I do want to keep. So let's go ahead and go through the closet. Now one dilemma that I do have when I reorganize this, and I didn't really think it out, but I've noticed that it's kind of been a, not really an issue, but just kind of a little bit of annoyance, is in these cubes here, which are on the second shelf from the bottom of the closet, um, I store paper towels and toilet paper. And as you can see, paper towels, because they are a taller item, I have to kind of finagle between the top of this cube and the bottom of the shelf above it. Same thing with toilet paper. The toilet paper rolls are about that thick as well, and you kind of have to finagle it, and the cube moves, and then things inside of it move and whatnot. Another thing that I used on these cubes, uh, well, I didn't use them, that's why I'm going to get rid of them, but something I had put on the cubes with a full intention of using are these little chalkboard uh, clips, labels that I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, you can write on them with a chalk pen. Um, or a piece of chalk if you want to, but I feel like that would be too thick. You may not be able to read it. But I was going to label these with, you know, paper towels, toilet paper, things like that. Well, as you can see, I haven't gotten around to it. So I think I'm going to take these off. I'm not going to get rid of them. I'll probably find some other use that I can do with them around the house. But um, as far as the linen closet, I haven't used them. So I'm going to take them out and use them someplace else. Now when I did this reorganization of this closet eight months ago, I originally had our bath towels rolled up in one of these cubes. Um, however, Tony asked if I could take these out of the cube only because with the same situation with the paper towels and the toilet paper, it was just kind of a hassle of getting it out of the cube and then the cube moves or... Uh, you know, another towel would come out in addition to the one that he pulled or I pulled or whatever. So now you've got a clean towel hitting the floor. So I went ahead and I did take them out of the cubes just so we can stack them here nicely in the closet. They're a lot easier to get to. We're not having clean towels fall on the floor. Now I'm not a very tall person so I'm actually standing on my tippy toes right now because the next thing I want to show you is up here on the very top shelf. And that is this kit right here, which I know you can't see that great. Let me see if I can get it out here for you. Oh. Um, this is a smaller kit that my parents got for me a few years ago. That has a bunch of different screws and uh, picture frame, hanging, accessories, uh, nails, cable ties, things like that, which don't get me wrong, this is very useful. However, I feel like this is something that should be out in the garage with the normal size toolbox, um, along with stay, 
along with Tony has um, just like a little screwdriver set here that should probably go out into the garage with the tool kit and that other um, kit that I just showed you now this is a portable vacuum cleaner um, a little handheld one that my parents got us um, not this past Christmas but the Christmas before um, to clean up just small messes like on the kitchen countertop things that you don't really need to drag the entire vacuum out for um, so that's a cleaning thing it's gonna stay in there the hammer however the hammer can come out that needs to go out to the garage um, but something else I'm thinking of I'm thinking of keeping these cubes um, because I do like that they keep categorized items corralled however I'm thinking of turning them up um, just so it's easier so then like here some stuff you can't even see what's in it like here you can't even see what's in here because the items are so this is like kind of our first aid one um, we've got like a little wrist brace here some um, alcohol wipes some other antibacterial things things like that well, you can't really see that in here. And since I didn't use the labels, you wouldn't know that that was in there to begin with. So I'm thinking of taking these cubes and turning them kind of like that there so you can actually see what's in it. And not to mention, I think this will be easier in getting bigger things like the toilet paper, the paper towels out and not having to mess with trying to get them past the shelf above. So. I'm going to switch a few things around in this closet and we will come back to see what I did and see the functionality of it. Alright, so it's been about 10-15 minutes uh, since I last filmed what the closet looked like before. I went ahead and moved some of the cubes up on their sides and kind of reorganized things. Not to mention I found some stuff that probably should not have been in the closet um, such as razors where there's only one in a pack these can simply go out of the pack and into the drawer in the bathroom so that's not in the closet and I actually found an extra cube that was behind another cube that wasn't even being used at all now if you are interested in these cubes um, they are from Dollar Tree they obviously are a dollar they come in different sizes, different colors. Um, the three colors I've seen at our local Dollar Tree is a gray, this kind of like cream color, I don't know how great you can see it on camera, and a dark like chocolate brown. But the bottom here, this is just like a thicker piece of cardboard with some fabric on it. That is what holds the bottom in so your cube doesn't collapse while you're using it. But this simply just folds in half like this on each side like that and folds down and that's exactly how they come when you buy them from the Dollar Tree they come in the pack just like that and super easy to put them together um, really fantastic storage solution for a dollar so if you need a lot of storage quickly and you're on a budget I highly recommend that so let's go ahead and take a look at the closet and see what I've done not too sure how I feel about it, so we'll check in here after a few more months and see if it stayed the same. <clears throat> so here's what I've done. Let me get on this side here. It's probably a little easier. So five out of these six cubes I turned on their side, simply so it would be easier to get stuff out, such as body wash because it's the taller bottles, the paper towels, um, things like that. Now you will notice that <clears throat> I took that picture hanging kit out and the hammer and all that. I did that earlier in the video. That's no longer in here. It's going to go to the garage with the full tool case kit, whatever you want to call it. So all the tools and the equipment is together. So here I have all of our body wash and things. Yes, I know that is probably an excessive amount of body wash, but I got it super, super cheap. Um, so why not stock up? But um, now it's super easy to get it in and out. Um, same thing with the first aid items. I'm not sure how I feel about these cubes kind of bending in the middle. That 
kind of really bothers me. I know that probably sounds extremely petty, um, but if it didn't, this channel shouldn't be called Weirdly OCD. But uh, I don't know if there'll be maybe a way I can clip those together so it's not doing that. I don't know. Um, and then down here, this is where I'm going to put our toilet paper, paper towels. Super easy now just to take one out of the cube. You're not messing with the shelf above. Some solo cups for when we rinse our mouth out after brushing our teeth. Um, I just kind of refill those in the bathroom as we need them. Towels. They stayed on the shelf just like they were before, so it's really easy to put them in, get them out. And this cube here I turned on its side um, where the washcloths and the hand towels are. A little easier, not that we really had trouble getting those in and out because they're small items, but I figured it'd kind of go with the rest of the closet. Again, this cube, I'm not too sure how I feel about it uh, bending here on the side and then curving here at the top. I'm sure it's because these bath towels are pushing on it and that's probably why it's doing that. As for this, I don't know why it's doing that on the top. There was Because this would have been the back so it's not like it was uh, getting pushed on or anything so I'm not sure. But um, And then in the bottom here I just have a little two step, step stool for when I'm cleaning and I need to get up high like on picture frames and curtain rods, things like that. So this is what I'm going to go with right now. Um, as for the functionality of the closet, it does do what it's supposed to do. It holds cleaning supplies, it holds bathing, bathroom supplies. Um, and for the most part, throughout the eight months since I reorganized this and put it on video, it pretty much has stayed organized. Nothing really has been thrown into other cubes. Um, things have stayed folded. Um, things have stayed categorized. But there are, were a few things that I wanted to change, get rid of, because I didn't use them, like those labels. So we will see how this goes for right now. I'm not 100% sold on it. Um, so there very well may, may be a video coming out in a few weeks saying I redid this again. But um, for right now, it is what it is. So we will see. But with that, that is today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it, and hopefully this gives you some tips. So if you have a kind of a cluttered, unfunctional, unorganized linen closet, you can maybe check out your local Dollar Tree. You can always buy things on Dollar Tree's website as well. The only bad part about Dollar Tree's website is a lot of their storage things you have to buy in bulk. So uh, packs of 12 or 24. And I mean, unless maybe you're doing a lot of rooms or whatever, you don't really need 24 of these collapsible cubes, although who knows, you may find a use for 24 of them. Um, but that's the only downside to Dollar Tree's website. If you don't have a Dollar Tree near you, or you can't find these specific products in your local Dollar Tree. Um, but I hope this helped you, and with that, that is today's video, and I will see you all on Wednesday. Have a great day. Bye-bye.